Well, as Mayor Joe Hogsett says, the city and AES Indiana have almost entirely made good on a promise he made more than three years ago to add more streetlights across Indy. Their goal is to move toward a safer and more efficient city. Fox 69's Courtney Spinelli has more tonight on these improvements and what the city's planning to do moving forward. Courtney? Mayor Hogsett says back in 2015 during his campaign, countless residents told him they don't come out of their homes after dark, citing concerns for safety. Well, the city hopes that improvements in areas like this one here in Havel will help bring back that sense of security. Even as our city grew <clears throat> by tens of thousands of people, no new street lights for 35 years. In 2016, Mayor Joe Hogs had promised to lift a decades-old moratorium. No streetlights have been installed in Indianapolis since 1981, when that ban was put in place. Some areas eventually left in the shadows. Uh, as you know, hallville has been in the dark for a while, and um, it's always nice to shed light on situations, and a neighborhood is no different. Havel is one of the latest to see improvements put in place. Hogsett says he hopes the added lights help people feel safer. If you went around from house to house, you'd get varying degrees of, uh, uh, of opinion about how safe this neighborhood is. The city says because LED lights use less energy and save money, they can then put the dollar saved towards buying even more lighting. Operation Nightlight has almost met its goal of adding LED lighting to nearly 27,000 fixtures, and a new promise to continue that effort was made Monday morning. So making some minor adjustments such as lighting I think will be beneficial. Sandra Jones with the Krista Moore House says she's glad to see the city investing in the Hawville area. We do have a senior citizen building across the street. A lot of them have the mobile uh, chairs that they have to use at, at night and in the evening to get down here to the Kroger stores. And even beyond just the safety aspect, both Sandra Jones and City County Council President Vop Asali agree on this. It gives our, our, our residents an opportunity to spend more time, you know, outside. Now other residents we talked to also off camera today in this neighborhood tell us this has been well received. They are appreciative that the city is taking those steps to light up the neighborhood and give them a little bit more sense of security when they go outside at night. For now, reporting in Havel, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News.